Hello. So we are back here. Yeah? Tuesday. Nice weather outside. Yeah. But let's try and burn a phone. Okay. I'll try to burn my phone. So the idea is, I got a lot of messages, yeah, and I, I read I read all the comments. I say, you know, why you are not wearing uh, electrostatic bracelet, yeah, or why you don't have uh, electrostatic anti anti static anti static or electrostatic? What's the name? Electro anti static. Sorry, not electrostatic. Anti static. Anti-static wrist strap. Okay, so I'm really sorry for my language. Yeah, so that's the name. Anti-static. Sorry, anti-static. Well, obviously, anti-static uh, uh, wrist strap is to discharge any electrostatic charge. Yeah. Okay. So I have a nice toy here. I was using this toy to test the LCD screens, yeah? So here on uh, on this end we have few thousand volts, probably around 4,000, 5,000 or 5,000 or more or 8, anyway something like that. This I modify and I put two batteries because I should plug like 12 volt charger. So I don't need a charger, I have two batteries here. So I can connect the, I can use it mobile. So I was using this to test the LCD. Hopefully my GoPro will not go, will not freeze. Yeah, hopefully. Let's start, now it's on. And we have some nice parts. Hopefully you can see, you can see. Ah. Uh -huh. So I believe we can test the, the things with the with the anti-static, yeah. What's the problem? Okay, now it's off. Like on my experience, 30, 30 years of experience, never ever wear a bracelet, yeah, or burn a something because I touch it, yeah. And yeah, I'll explain you why. But let's check first. Yeah, we have two phones. We have my phone, my iPhone. Yeah, so I'll take my iPhone out. This is an iPhone 8. That's my iPhone, so... It's a nice iPhone 8, yeah? Let's burn it. And we have a Samsung, it's a S7 Edge, I think. Yeah, S7 Edge, yeah? Let's try it. Hopefully, let's try under the micro under the microscope or not. Or no? Let's try like that, yeah? So let's start the toy. And let's see. Nothing? Come on, it's a metal... Yeah, it's doing some sparks. It's a metal case. Yeah, so my, my screen just goes off. You can see the sparks. So my screen just goes off. The GoPro is still working, still working. You can't see. Let me let me switch on the microscope, yeah? Let me stop this toy. This is dangerous. You can get electrocuted. One second, yeah. So we have the iPhone. Yeah, that's my iPhone. Now let's do some sparks. Yeah, you can see the sparks. The screen goes off. Anyway, yeah. Let's try on the Samsung. Uh, you want to see my phone? My phone is still working fine. No issue. But we'll check after, yeah? Let's try this one. This is a Samsung. The Samsung it's on, yeah. Let's try this one. Nice sparks. 
Oh, my screen goes off. Okay, it's done. So hopefully it's recording. Yeah? Nice to play with the spark. So we kill the phone, that's the question. We kill the phone. The phones, yeah? We kill them. No, actually the phone is working fine. It's not even getting frozen. Not even frozen, yeah? So this is okay. And my iPhone also it's okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah? So you understand why I am not wearing a bracelet, an anti-static bracelet? From a simple reason. Simple one. This is science. This is science. It's no luck. The reason is the Faraday cage. Yeah? So everything what is built in these days is based on this principle. The Faraday cage. Yeah? Let me see. I think I search already, so you can have a look after uh, desktop. Yeah, that's that's the one. So actually, if you you are in the cage, nothing wrong can happen. You know, it's not even important how many volts do you have. You can have ten thousand, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand. You can have a Tesla coil. Nothing can happen. Yeah. So one more time to explain you. If you come with a Tesla coil, a spark like that, and you spark on your phone, nothing will happen just because of this principle, the Faraday cage. Yeah? So your phone and any phone is built with. Uh, it's not only if you. It's not only like a metallic case, but it can have like a metal uh, paint. Yeah. Or you can have a plastic. Uh, you have a plastic case like on the laptops. You have plastic with um, like a metal, yeah, same paint, paint or shield or I don't know something like that. Yeah, but everything what is built in these days is built based on this principle. Yeah. The people thinking if you have your potential, your electric potential is different from the phone and actually you come on like 10,000 10, volts charged body and you touch your phone, the phone will die, yeah? But nothing will happen. Now let's say, let's say you'll say, you'll say no, no sorry, and it's not about the phones, it's about the boards, yeah? Even the boards, if I take a board, let me take a motherboard, any motherboard. Yeah. This also is a Faraday cage, yeah. You see all these shieldings, yeah. These are Faraday's cages, yeah. And uh, even if you touch a board, nothing wrong will happen. Just because it's a Faraday cage, yeah. If you say, you know what, okay, I will touch. I don't know, I'll touch something else. Uh, if you touch like a power rail, nothing will happen because of the low resistance of the power rail. Even if you try to make it like a spark, nothing will happen. Okay? And uh, yeah, all the sensible area, like this, like the processor area or the signal area, is shielded. Yeah? So, from few reasons, one, it's the Faraday cage, yeah. The second one is to keep inside inside any signals, yeah, so they are shielded. Uh, the third one is to keep everything from inside isolated from the, the electric noise from outside, yeah. That's mean like high frequency waves yeah and the fourth reason is the mechanical straight yeah so actually everything is more straight has more straight based it has a shield the fifth reason actually the ground resistance is lower yeah that's very that's a very important one yeah because the idea of the anything what you build like a phone is to have like zero ground resistance everywhere but it's not zero because of the wire resistance 
but having the wire resistant the but by the way the motherboard is around 90 percent ground so inside of the motherboard because it's a motherboard with few layers inside most most of what is not a truck it's a ground okay that's how they are built okay so yeah achieving like zero ohms uh, resistance you know it's it's not possible but you can do better using even the shield as a ground area okay so hopefully i clear this with the anti-static bracelet yeah nothing wrong can happen trust me on the other hand you have to think i am here you know the air probably is here in England it's all the time like around 80 percent humidity 80 90 so the humidity will equalize the difference of the potential so you cannot get like a spark you know when you try to get down the t-shirt where you know sometimes you can you can hear like a spark not when it's a high humidity on the air but let's say if you if you have like 30 40 percent humidity on the air you can have different potential uh, your potential can be different from different things on the on your area i don't know happened to make a spark with my wife <laughs> and it wasn't a spark of love you know it was an electrostatic spark but even let's say your body is, is charged different yeah if you touch the board the board can take your potential quickly but it's not like doesn't have like a big mace yeah i uh, trust me nothing wrong can happen yeah just trust me i never burn something just by touching uh, this is a nice way back in time back a few years ago four or five years ago we we're testing the lcd even on the laptop screens you can test the laptop screens or the tv screens with this way that's a nice way yeah okay so please please don't leave me comments we use a uh, electrostatic uh, no electro sorry anti-static bracelet yeah good okay today it's a quiet day and we don't have so many jobs like interesting jobs we have only boring jobs so i'll stop this video and hopefully i clear this with the uh, why i'm not wearing static bracelet yeah okay thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one yeah bye